Welcome back. And as you've heard from the song by Family Layer, Asiko, meaning it's time. Negotiations, it's time. It's time for us to make the right decision concerning our leaders. It's time for us to make the right decision concerning our future and our generations to come. Because when we vote now, we vote for the betterment of Lagos, we vote for the betterment of Nigeria. And that brings me to our first guest of today. Now, greatly, she's a woman. That's the most interesting thing for me. I know you're saying I'm being a feminist and all. Don't worry, that's my business, leave me alone. Mm -hmm. But the point is, she's here, she's a woman who has served in the CB and she has served very well for well over 15 years. She has done well in the corporate world. And now she's saying, after all the experience that I have gotten, I want to serve Lagos State and I want to show the people why a woman should be given an opportunity to step into the shoes of leadership and hold the reins of Lagos State. And I believe, well, I hope you do too, that she will do great. I'm talking about no other person than Mrs. Omolara Adesonia. Welcome to Hello Nigeria. Thank ma. you. How have thank you been, Ma? Very fine, thank you. How was your day today? Beautiful. You look great, by the thank way. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so let me let me ask this question. Who is Omolara Adesonia? Omolara Adesonia is a very simple person. Um, well, I worked in Central Bank for about 35 years. Wow. Yes. And um, actually, I decided to stay in Central Bank because um, I didn't really want to move around because of the children, because I'm very concerned about family. And so when my friends were going to different banks and all that, I decided to stay put. Ah, uh, Omolara Adesanya is well. She's a pastor. And, um, well, she's a very passionate person when she's focused she makes sure that whatever it is, she accomplishes it. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you. So I'm going to ask in your opinion, you know, how has Nigeria fared in the area of um, community and character development? Well, Nigeria has fared. You know, they have tried, but um, there's room for improvement. You know, when we're talking of community and character, that means that um, we're trying as much as possible to build people. We're trying to as much as possible to build up children, you know, to give them good character. And before they can have good character, they must see an example. They must see somebody that they can emulate. Because you cannot be saying something or doing something that you don't have. But when you say something, they must see it in you. Because um, children, they, they, they believe more when they see. It's different from when you tell them, this is what you're supposed to do. And they say that, oh, well, we, we can do that. But they're saying something different. So, have, um, it, it, for, for example, there is um, a learning without walls that um, I'm involved in. And um, it was due to the fact that I saw so many children on the road not having, you know, opportunity to learn. And so we created, you know, a very small place just to teach them, to teach them character, to teach them how to read and write, to teach them to believe in themselves and that there is nowhere they cannot get to because God has not decided that, only this person can be a president of the country. So we try to encourage them, cancel them. So in a community, when you have the right set of um, uh, training and canceling, then you, you get the best. Okay. I'm going to still ask one more question concerning that. Did the community ever, you know, aid your own build up as a person? Yes. How? I had more confidence in myself. I'm happy that I see people are happy. You know, when you see people are happy, it's, it, it, you enjoy it because you are sowing something back into the, into the nation. You're sowing something back into Nigeria. And you're happy that, oh, these children, they are going to be future leaders of tomorrow. And believing that there's nowhere any, anyone cannot get to. And with the little information they have, you can see that they want to spread their wings. And then you want to try to ensure that at least these children, they fought, you know, you know, in life, yeah. they have something that they can hold on to that, look, I, I, I can be something, mm. you know, and they want to be like that person, they want to be like that person. There were some that we asked and said, what would you like to be when you grow up? Some said, I'd like to be a policeman. Some said, I'd like to be a dancer. You know, but you see, that is all they know. But by the time they read, learned, they were able to make up their mind and say, oh, I think I want to be a lawyer. Oh, I think I want to be a doctor. I want to be an artist. So that is what makes me happy to see that little children, they are given that opportunity to be like anybody else. Okay, so you're running for governor of Lagos State. Yes, please. Under the PPC, which is the Providence, Providence People's, People's Congress. Congress. Yes. Now, in your opinion, how, are you, how do you plan 
to aid this same topic, community and character development for Lagos State? Well, so many areas I like to look into. Um, now first of all, I have four cardinal points. I like to look at security because when security, when there's peace in the nation, a lot of things happen. And that, I'll make sure that um, the police are well equipped and um, they are able to ensure that um, all these um, touts and all that are taken care of. Even the touts, we're going to train them because we have found that, that even some um, touts, some of them are graduates. Some of them is because yes, of poverty. So, so it's not enough to just discard them. We have to try and see what they can do, you know, vocational skills. So we look at that. Then we also look at transportation. Now, transportation, um, well, that has to do with all these um, 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 trucks on the road and all that. We're going to fix a lot of bad roads because bad roads makes it very difficult for you to get to wherever you're going on time. So we're going to look at that. We're also going to look at um, the sea. We're going to have taxis, what we call okay. taxis, you know, so that people can move easily from KM Ikorodu to Lagos, you know, so we'll have a lot of um, boats on the sea. Okay, on, yes, so yes. I'm going to let you hold on to that. Okay. Now, for you, the viewer, you can join in on this conversation, you know, just call the numbers on the screen right now. The number is showing on your screen. You can call in and speak to Mrs. Omolara here, you know, tell her the things you desire as a Lagosian, what you feel that she should do for Lagos, and she will be here to listen to you, listen to your comments, and actually, you know, give answers to any questions that you would have. So, continuing on that, why did you choose to run for governor? Hmm. I decided to run for governor, you know, to serve the people. I realized that there's a lot of things that could be done in Lagos State. Yes, a lot has been done before by the past time, governors and all that. But we want to improve. We want to do a lot of things differently. And I believe we have enough resources to ensure that poverty is, is eradicated. If possible, hunger is, is a foregone conclusion because there's so many people who are hungry that cannot be fed. They cannot even eat a meal a day. So we're going to put things in place to help people to, to have a direction so that their vision can be a reality, you know. Okay, so Ma, can I, can I boldly say that you have no personal interest in running for governor? Not really. Oh, really? Not really. Why? I just want to serve. Why? Because I love Lagos State. I've been <laughs> in Lagos for a very long time. How long? 61 years. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I know what my people want. It's all about the people. It's not about me. It's not about the government, but making sure that the people are satisfied and they have a conducive environment. Okay, so let's go to the phone lines. We have Abiodun from Lagos. Hello, Abiodun. Hello, Abiodun. Hello, good evening. Hello, darling. Welcome to the show. Please tune down the volume of your TV set. It's echoing down here. Hello? Oh, we lost Abiodun. Please, Abiodun, if you can call us back, please, we'd love you to call us back so that you can, you know, join in on the conversation and get to speak to our guest here. So, my yes, talking about, you know, service. And, you know, service is one thing that we've heard our leaders say over time. Ah, I want to serve Lagos. I want to serve Nigeria. I want to do this. I want to do that. What's your definition of service? Hmm. Commitment. Okay. And, um... I love the ministry because um, without the ministry, Lagos cannot exist. You know, public service is a noble service. And I believe that um, that is an opportunity to help people. The people in the ministry, they're very hardworking. But I believe that they have to have a sense of belonging, encourage them. They have a lot of talents, intelligent people and they need to be encouraged. Let's take Ifai from Lagos. Hello, Ifai. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Welcome to Hello, Nigeria. Yeah. Good evening, Miss Govern, Govern, Governor of Lagos State. <laughs> good evening. Yeah. Is that a prophecy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Go um, on, Ifai. My fear is this. There are some people that are very intelligent in this Lagos, but there is a giant in this Lagos that always will push them not to come out. Like this young woman now, 
being the mother. She is very good. Mm. Checking her past to this thing, you will find out that she's very good. But there is Goliath in this Lagos <laughs> who will never allow them to come out or frustrate all their plans. What are you what are you going to do about those people? Because you are very, very, very intelligent and and very you have the capacity, uh, the, the capability to rule this, this, uh, this Lagos state. But that Goliath is still alive. What are you going to do so that you will reach there? Because you, before ever you think of coming out, you will frustrate your plan. Mm, mm, you, mm. We all know that, and nobody wants to say something about it. Well, thank you, Fanyi, for your comments. Well said. And let's all remember as a people, voting is our right. It's our franchise, and we can change, you know, whatever has happened. What do you have to say about what he just said? Well, I'm not sure about what Ifine is saying about gorilla. Like Goliath, yeah. you know, they're going so to Goliath come. that are going to. Yes. Oh, look, there is nothing impossible with God. Whatever God says is going to happen is what will happen, you know. Everybody is just trying to do the best for this, um, for our state, for Lagos State. And I believe that um, when people, as you have said, they own their vote. That is their responsibility. And nobody's going to force them to do otherwise. So if you can vote, we vote your conscience. Once you vote your conscience, I don't believe that, um, you know, they will do anything that, you know, if you are the one, you are the one. And I believe that, um, you know, God has given us that opportunity this time around to pick somebody that we know that will run for us. Mm. Well said. So now concerning, you know, getting the people to come out on voting day, to the polling booth, how have you done? Because I personally feel that, aside those in the known opposition parties, you know, you know the parties I'm talking about, yeah. APC, PDP. Mm. Most times, I ask other parties who have come up, like even the PPC, how have you related your goals and objectives to that out in Munshi? You know, that woman selling fish at Ojoye market there too, or the ones selling in Balogu, mm. or the ones selling in the market in Isolo. How have you been able to relate? Mm. You know me, I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> and as a woman, they, that, there, there are a lot of things that you can do. We've done our jingles, you know. We have a call for me, Bado. Hello, welcome, our dear caller. Hello. It's my welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Ismail, can you turn down the volume of your TV set, please? It's turned it's turn off. Okay, okay, good. Uh, actually, good evening. Good evening. I good greet evening. your guests. Good evening, madam. Good evening. Yeah. Um, I like your manifesto, the things you have put in place you wanted to give to Lagos State. But actually, the fear I'm having is that I personally also, as in, we do in Nigeria generally, we don't give women the chance. So we felt that if a woman is there, can she be able to do it like a man? So I think that jeans, that or that, let me say, the, the charisma we put on to women is still there. So thinking that they can do it better. But what you have said on, on your program this evening, the manifestos, they are good. But the problem we are having in Nigeria is with these politicians, but from speaking and listening to you right now, I don't think you sound like a politician. So to me, you sound like someone who wants to help the less privileged youths and the children. But I'm um, sorry to say, I'm afraid you may not be able to get there. But we all pray we should get there because you are because of the gender inequality we frustrate in Nigeria. So thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank too, you. for your comment. Thank you, Ismail. But, but Ma, do you, do you see your gender as an issue in your race? No, I don't. I don't. Why? I, well, because I believe You're that... You're very confident, uh, I noticed. Oh, yeah, I am. Because <laughs> I just believe that if you are focused, I mean, what should, be, what should limit you? Nothing should limit you, you know. It's because you just want to serve. You want to do something right. You've traveled far and wide, and you have seen other countries. And you believe that it can happen in your state. Mm. It can happen in Nigeria. So mm. why can't you just put yourself forward? I mean, enough of complain. We complain and complain and complain. Let's put ourselves forward. If you don't get there, you know that, well, you have tried. But if you don't try and you keep complaining, how do you get there? Okay, so going back to the question before the call came. Yes. You know, we're asked, I, I asked you, 
how do you plan to take you know your campaign to the people go door to door you know speak to let people when they call the name omolara adesonya somebody in the market will shout ppc yeah how is that going to happen okay well we've tried in our in our own way first of all we've done the media we know not everybody would you know would be on the media facebook twitter instagram and all that we're all there but at the same time we've gone to the market we've spoken to some market people we have our jingles that you know we play we played to them and it's like wow we've spoken to you know a few different markets and it's like a woman is coming out for the first time we're, we're going to be involved we're going to do it because you see women they know what they want and um it, it, it's not enough the era is past where you keep giving money and all that and all that they want to hear you and so we've have we've had um cases where we have visited the market we have had, you know, we, we've spoken to some people, we've, we, we, we've asked for their own um, ideas, what is expected. We've done researches and we know that in this area, this is what they need. Mm. In that area, that is what they need. Mm -hmm. And so we try as much as possible to address that particular thing they want. You know, it's a research. Oh, because yeah. if you say this is what you want to do, and in that area they don't need that, it's like you're wasting your time. Do you understand? Because if they want a road here and you're talking of building a bridge, they will not understand. Okay. Do you understand? Because it will make much meaning so to them. How yes. are you going to manage the cultural diversity of Lagos State? Mm -hmm. Well, that before you answer that, let's take Biodu. Biodu from Lagos, welcome hello. back. Yes, hello, hello good there. Um, good evening, madam. Good evening. Good evening. Um, my question, uh, I know I have a big goal for Lagos State, but my own question is that, I know that, for example, for example I'm saying the, go the government of Lagos State, anybody who wants to reward or give scholarships to anybody or give gifts to anybody who would like, okay, if I was an individual of Lagos State, you will not be granted that thing or a gift or a scholarship. I hope when you get that post, you will not do such because it's odd. I didn't hear it. Okay. Thank you, Biodun. Thank you for your question. So she was asking, she said, the incumbent governor and past governors, that usually when you want to give scholarships, they say if the person in question is not an indigene of Lagos, do you understand me? That the person would not be qualified. So most times they will give, you know, scholarships to indigenes that maybe uh, those who are not indigenes did better than them in competitions or, you, you know, academic performance. And then, you know, so what are you going to do about that well, when you become governor? By the grace of God, transparency is our key. Integrity is our key. We we'll try as much as possible. You see, I believe that once you live in Lagos, in Lagos, you are you are, you are a Leg Lagosian, for me, and um, we give all children equal opportunity. So if a child comes out first, I mean, is even for the betterment of Lagos State. There's no need bringing somebody who is not up to that level. So when you and then you can encourage all the others that are not even up to, but. They are going to stand for Lagos. They are going to represent Lagos. I remember in my own in my own days when I was an athlete for Lagos State. I ran for Lagos State under the National Sport Festival, and um, there were some people that believed that um, you know they are Lagosians more than yourself. But you want to let them know that the fact that I'm here, I'm a Lagosian. I was born here. I was raised here. So I believe by His grace, when that time comes, we'll try as much as possible to be very fair. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Mrs. Thank Ade, you. Sonia, thank you for coming on Hello Nigeria. Thank you. It's, it was a wonderful time with you. Thank I you. believe in your vision. Thank you. I believe in your mission. Thank you. And I will be so proud to have a woman like you hold okay. the reins of leadership of Lagos. So how can people follow you, you know, okay. um, in, follow your works, you know, participate in your campaign? How can they follow you oh, on I'm social on media? I'm on Facebook, Facebook Instagram. Instagram, Twitter, we're all there. What's your name on Facebook? Omolara Adesonya. Omolara Adesonya. Yeah. So you've heard it. Omolara Adesonya on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Follow her. Follow her. Follow up on her work. And I tell you people, she's doing good. Thank you so much Thank for coming. Thank you very much. To enjoy more of this, our Ogunge videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.